All right, you guys, so there are a ton, well, not really a ton, there's really just three um, tests that you typically take for PA school. I guess you could kind of say sometimes four. Those tests include the MCAT, the GRE, the PA CAT, and the CASPER test. Um, and so I've had a lot of questions about the CASPER exam and what it's about. Um, what is this exam? What do you have to do with it? They and People don't know anything about it, and so that is what we're going to be talking about today in this video. What's up you guys, this is Adana, and welcome back to my channel. Okay, so again, I've had a million and one questions about this CASPER test, um, and I didn't have to take it for PA school. It wasn't something that was used for us when I was applying, but now, over the past like two or so years, there have been a lot of programs that are incorporating this CASPER exam. And so that is what I wanted to talk to you about. Like, what is this exam, and you know, like, how do you study for it, because that's really the the main question that I've been getting asked. So if you're new to my channel, thank you so much for joining me today. Go ahead, take a moment right now to subscribe. And also, if you are not new to my channel, thank you guys so much for um, coming back to listen to this video. Okay, all right, so this video is about the CASPER exam. And now you can go and find out all of the information that I'm talking about on the website, the CASPER website. I will leave that for you, but it is takecasper.com and Casper spelled C-A-S-P-E-R. Um, you know, kind of like the friendly ghost, Casper, right? Um, and this test is kind of an illusion, <laughs> like it's elusive, I guess you could say, kind of like Casper is. Um, but it is a situational based exam. Uh, now, what do I mean by that? It means like it's giving you scenarios, okay? This is not based on anything academic like you would think of when it comes to your GRE or your MCAT or your PACAT which are all about like the sciences and English and vocab um, and you know things like physics and math this has none of that this is all about situations and it's pretty cool because I think that's where I shined in my PA school interview I had a situational based question that was posed to me at the end well posed to all of us in a group at the end of our PA school interview, it was our group interview, it was the last and final thing that we were doing, and we were asked, to, given a scenario, we were providers, we were given a patient, and something like detrimental happened to the patient after we had seen them. It wasn't our fault, I guess you could say, in a sense, like it wasn't anything like, oh, we operated on them and then they had like a detrimental outcome, but it was more so a matter of, we were asked to do something by our attending and then um, it was done and now this happened to the patient afterwards. And so they asked who was to blame uh, and we had to rank the blame you know, from one to five. And for me, I think that that is where I absolutely shined the, the most. Um, I wasn't as shy as I usually am. You know, I was able to speak up and give my opinion. And, you know, I really like, um, I guess, like kind of getting into conversations. And, and I don't want to say it arguments, but... I, you know, like I like banter. I like when somebody challenges me um, to think outside of the box and I like when I'm able to challenge them as well. And so in that moment, like it just brought me back to like my elementary school days when we had like mock trials um, and I was able to be, you know, put my little lawyer hat on and start talking. And that is essentially what Casper is, but um, in a computerized like base format, okay? So you're gonna have this exam that gives you several different scenarios that you're going to have to run through. The exam is anywhere from 60 minutes to 90 minutes, so an hour to an hour and a half. It all depends on, I guess, you and how quickly you move through the various different sections. Um, you do have a 15 minute break in between each section. And again, this is a high stake exam. I did wanna tell you guys that we are gonna be doing a, a live Q&A with Dr. Adam Rosh of Rosh Review 
interview that talks about how to perform well on high stakes exams. And so if you're interested in that, you should go to getthatsuniversity.com to find out more information about it because it's gonna be open to everyone. I will send out a link if you have subscribed to GTCU and, and sent your information, you will get the link so that you're able to be a part of this session because it's important to understand the different triggers um, and the different things that make you perform well on an on exam and the things that make you don't perform well, right? It makes you perform poorly on an exam. And that is what we're gonna be touching on this Tuesday in that live session. So be sure to you know tune in for that. But this exam is high stakes, right? This is one of the additional things that you have to do to get into PA school for some programs. And so it's important to understand how you're going to perform on that and how you, sh you should, I guess you could say, or can perform well um, by using some of these tips and tricks. This is not an exam that you can study for, and I want you guys to be aware of that, okay? This is not something I can be like, oh, you know what? Um, I need to go study situational exams. No, this is you. This is about you and how you're going to handle a situation because they wanna know the character person that they are allowing to come into their program and that will be treating future patients in um, you know the upcoming future once you've graduated from PA school. So they want to ensure that the type of person that they're allowing in their program is going to be a great PA essentially. So that is why most schools are turning towards this exam as one of the components of their application cycle. So with the CASPER exam you're going to have 12 various different sections and each section is going to be either like video based or word based questions you're gonna have like various different scenarios in that and you're gonna have about five minutes to answer each um, each of those questions in the section now when you're going through this again this is all based on how you would handle that particular scenario so don't like don't psych yourself out and think like okay well how do they want me to answer this you know because that is not what it's about it's about you as a person and how you're going to handle it and that's why I say you cannot study for this exam. This is not an exam that you're actually going to be able to study for. You just have to know who you are as a person and what you stand for. And I think that is like the most important thing. When you're dealing with providers and when you are a provider, you want, you know, somebody of good character. Um, you know, because what is the saying? Bad character corrupts good company or something like that. Um, or good character is corrupted by bad company. And so you don't want somebody that has bad character. You want somebody that has good character that will take care of the patients that are gonna care about their patients, that are gonna care about their colleagues. And so you wanna ensure that you're answering the question based on how you would actually do this in person, okay? So don't lie, don't or don't try to Think about how they want you to answer it because that is not what they're looking for. The test is like kind of like algorithmy based, and so it will be able to tell, you know, like the type of person that is answering it. If they see that you answer one question a certain way, but then another question a different way, and it doesn't quite like match up you know, that's going to be a red flag as well. So you just want to ensure that you're just continuing to in make the the decisions that are based on things that you would actually do, okay? I've already told you that it's 60 to 90 minutes, so that is something that you will want to keep in mind. It is graded by actual, like, human beings, not a, a computer. Um, there are, like I said, some algorithms in there to just kind of see, like, okay, like, this is how they answered this, but this is how they didn't answer this one. But the overall grading of this exam is by a like group of humans okay so they're going to be looking at you um, looking at uh, how you answer the questions uh, listening to the cadence of your voice and the things that you're, you're saying and then make their assessments based on that and then the scores are sent to the school directly how it's scored I don't know if it's scored on like 1 to 100 I'm not really sure about that it doesn't really talk about that on the website, um, but I'm sure maybe you can call them and see what they have to say. But that is essentially what the CASPER exam is. The CASPER test is, again, situational based 
12, scenar 12 different sections, various different scenarios. You're going to have 60 to 90 minutes to get through it. Um, it's going to be sent to your school directly and, and you're going to be done with it. And you're going to be able to prepare now for your actual academic based tests like your PA CAT or your GRE um, if your school uh, requires those, uh, those exams for you. Okay? So hopefully this gives you guys a little bit more ease that, okay, this is not something that I need to be completely super super stressed out and concerned about because it's not something that I need to study for I just go in and I take the exam like Adana you know I would go in and take it like me and you would go in and take it like you and answer the questions based on yourself and then go from there okay all right you guys keep it keep trucking you guys you're almost there um, you know again CASPA is opening up at the end of April CASPA the application site so preparing and understanding how all of these various different exams are and what they entail is important so continue to come back every Sunday and Tuesday for a new video from me um, follow me on Instagram at it on the PA and on Instagram I get that's university if you haven't already done so go ahead and subscribe okay uh join the family and thank you guys so much for watching i will talk to you guys next time bye